Today we're going to be looking at budget and even more budget. <laughs> Today we're looking at two very affordable options. One coming in at around $40, the Cold Steel SRK, and the other coming in just under $100 or right at the $100 mark. So today we're truly looking at two budget bushcraft survival knives that honestly, in my opinion, perform a lot better than what they're worth. So without any further ado, let's jump into the testing of the Cold Steel SRK versus the Mora Knife Garberg. Okay guys, so this has been a very interesting test. Usually these tests revolve around some higher end bushcrafting knives such as a Bark River Knives Aurora, a Battle Horse Knives Battle Lore, or some other more expensive or more expensive survival bushcraft knife. But today, we're actually pitting a knife that's cheaper than the Garberg against the Garberg to see which one's better. And this has been a pretty surprising test because using these two knives independently, I thought by far the Garberg would perform at these simple bushcrafting tasks significantly better than the SRK. And while the SRK wasn't always the better performer, it actually held its own pretty well in this side to side or one after the other use comparison. So let's start off with batoning. Of course the SRK performed better than the Garberg in batoning, but that's just due to the fact of blade length and blade thickness. The SRK is coming in just a bit thicker and of course several inches in blade length longer than the Garberg. So batoning for it will be naturally easier. However, the Garberg did not do a terrible job and both of these knives, to make it very clear, can withstand quite a thrashing as you guys can see I was really pounding on them just to make sure that you know there's not any weakness in them however we both or however I know both of these knives are very strong and they're not the type of knives to just crack or break okay so moving over to feather sticking this was an interesting one and this is why I use the same cut of wood on my tests you know the same piece of wood uh, or the same from the same tree on each of my tests is because I truly like a consistency in dryness and in grain and in the wood itself. And you can see that the SRK surprisingly, in my opinion, did just a bit better than the Garberg. And that could do to a few different things, but overall, I have to say that that was very impressive for the SRK to come out better, at least in feather sticking and batoning than the Garberg. So next we get into uh, so next we get into simple basic notch making and in this one the Garberg definitely wins and that is because of its smaller blade length. This is one of the tests that unless you have a really stellar knife or something that has really weird kind of angles or geometry, generally your smaller knives are going to perform better at doing notching. However, I do want to make it clear that the SRK did better than I was expecting it to. Granted, I did use a kind of backstop to help me put more pressure, so you know that might be cheating a little bit on it, but it did a pretty good job overall in cutting and making those notches for a six inch plus blade. So not too bad for it. Then lastly, we took a look at fire starting. And fire starting is one where I think these two knives actually tie. And that's pretty rare because usually a lot of knives don't do as well as the Garberg when it comes to striking a ferro rod. But the SRK actually does a pretty good job. Now the first test or the first bit, I had a bit of unsuccess with the SRK, but that was really more a lack of preparation of the tinder. And once I actually got a better piece of tinder and fluffed it up or scraped it up with the SRK and struck it, it went up just fine, just like the Garberg. So overall, what I have to say about these two knives is they're very evenly matched. And when it comes to buying one, I would not let the price get in the way too much, even though the SRK is about $50 cheaper still, if you can find it on a sale. The one thing I will say, if you're considering one or the other of these knives, is definitely consider the blade length and what you're after. Both of these knives, in my opinion, are about equal in performance, which is a really impressive thing, in my opinion. 
but at the same time you don't just want to get the cheaper knife the SRK because you may need a shorter blade or a more narrow blade or a thinner blade to accomplish your bushcrafting tasks. So when you're looking at these two blades, if you need the larger one, I would without hesitation get the SRK. But if you're looking at a knife that you need something just a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow, something that would be more capable of dressing out game animals, I would look at the Mora Garberg over the SRK. Anyways guys, that has been all I have to say about this test. It's been really interesting and I'm overall impressed with both of these knives, especially for being budget offerings. Anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.